A few months ago, I had started a post about using a long stroke dial indicator to monitor the position of the carriage on my lathe. The deeper I got into it, the more I realized that nothing was going to really replace a DRO setup. By the time I had figured that out, I had already spent my money on a 2 inch stroke DRO. And DROs are marvelous things. They'll tell you where your cross slide is, and they'll tell you where your carriage is. But they really don't tell you too much about how far your tailstock is extended or retracted. So what I've done this morning, out of more boredom than anything else, I've made a bracket and I've attached a 2 inch travel dial indicator which I can zero out to my heart's content on there. And as I advance the tailstock quill, you see what's happening. I'm not pressing in on the tip of the uh, dial indicator. I'm letting it out. And that gives me very, very good control, depth control. If I'm milling a pocket or drilling to a very critical depth. The nice thing about mounting them this way is you can't screw the dial, you can't push the uh, stem on the dial indicator too far in and damage it. Because when I'm wound all the way back with my tailstock, I still have travel on the tip. As you can see, I can still lock the tailstock if I need to. It clears. Don't clear by much, but it does clear. So, as I say, this was more a job that was done because I already had the dial indicator and I'm bored today. But it may give someone else some ideas who wants to get some really critical control of how far they drill or mill or ream a hole using tailstock. Thanks for having a look.